might be out here all night. This is unbelievable. Oh my, it's just, it's just getting better and better. Oh my God, I do this every time. Is it, what am I doing? The so, one time you need to go quickly. One time I need to go quickly, I can't get off the driveway <laughs> because someone's parked the house there. <laughs> Guys, hi, right, welcome back. Um, this is Photo How To, a channel completely dedicated to photography. I'm sorry I'm speaking really, really fast. I've not just uh, eaten five tubes of Smarties and bouncing off the walls. We're super excited because, uh, well, a phenomenon is happening where we live and this very rarely happens. It literally happened a few months ago. Why'd you have to go and ruin it? This doesn't happen down here very often, so we have got the Aurora Borealis, um, literally down the south of England. Um, I don't know how strong it is, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I thought that was it. I've been to Iceland loads of times, I thought that was it, game over, I'm not gonna see it again. But it's actually happening on our doorstep, so we're racing out as quickly as we can to go and see how strong it is, see if we get some video footage and some photographs. Let's go. This is well exciting. What you're currently looking at at the moment is uh, an online sort of app thing. It's a website. What's the website called? What did we type in? Oh, I just put um, Aurora Tracker. Because we've finished put Aurora Tracker live onto Google and it's brought up this website and you basically press play and it shows like the Norman. The Norman. <laughs> <laughs> the Northern Hemisphere. Who's ringing me? Who's ringing me? Who is this? Hello? Hello? I think I can see something in the distance over the rooftops. Right, Joyce, pick us up, pick you up, because we're literally about yes, to drop please. off. Right, come straight, come out of your house, cut the top of the road, where it's ain't warm. Okay. We're not okay. excited! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this app's really clever, because it will show you how strong um, and how far it's going to go down the, the hemisphere. And like I say, it very rarely touches um, the UK. Um, but for some crazy reason we've got it and we're in October. We're just, uh, I think we're in the middle of October now. So we are super excited. So, oh man, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. This sort of thing, as a photographer, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's a bucket list shot. It really is. But the difficulty I've now got is, do I video it or do I take a photograph? <laughs> what did you do last time? Pretend I didn't say last time. <laughs> It comes Dora the Explorer. Because <laughs> you missed la the last one. Oh, we're actually, we're, we're going for it now. <laughs> Excited, maybe, to see it. Ooh, we've got all these blooming trees in the way. I mean, we I need to be in the field. But this is really scary, isn't it? You look behind, you can't see anything. So the northern lights are there. That's the aurora. Uh, but we've got lots of light pollution. So we are just contemplating whether we're going to move to a location where there's less light pollution but there is a gamble that we could lose the northern lights right, i'll let you lead the way you never surprise me right okay we're in the park as you can see it's really really dark um, i haven't done that for drama or anything like that it is literally pitch black and that's one of the reasons why i came here so we get minimal light pollution all right there's a green haze just there which is just over the top of the city over the top there did you just say you're going to take a picture off the back of my camera <laughs> That's, that's so cheating. Look how big I am. I'm like Ant-Man. Look, look at the size of that stick thing. Right, okay, so uh, if you're taking a picture of this, you want a wide angle lens. Um, I'm shooting with a 14 to 30. Uh, my lowest aperture with this lens is f4. You want the widest aperture possible, so go down as low as you can. Um, it just lets more light into your camera. It also means you don't have to raise the ISO so high and get noise in your shot. Um, exposure wise you want to be shooting around about start for about eight seconds and either lower it or increase it depending on how bright your image is it might be because I just shot my torch over there I reckon there's a red tint it don't matter if there's a red tint on this it's gonna be awesome right guys we have moved position um, <laughs> we were looking actually the wrong way you can see it actually on the, this camera now that you're looking for this is a DJI Osmo um, I just said it's look to the right hand side of the cross can you see the pink in the sky we have actually got pink the aurora is dancing. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, look at it. That is just absolutely bonkers. I mean, even on here. It's getting stronger. I'm literally giving you a running commentary as it's happening in front of us. This is unbelievable. It really shows it up. 
I literally just got the edge of it by it. I didn't go there. That's unbelievable, isn't it? So we've got we've got a motorcyclist uh, really annoying us at the minute. He's <laughs> He's literally in the shot, so he's going to be in my time lapse video, which is pretty much ruined my time lapse video now. So thanks for that. Just that's, proof, that's going don't, again. Just proof, don't that's go going again. He's going again. Yeah. To see it. It's dancing. All oh, right. Quick go. I can see it on the back of his camera. Going on the floor again. <laughs> his screen's just black. <laughs> <laughs> You're just filming black. What are you doing? Well, I, I, I see you on the look. You can't see a thing. So that's what you've just got on your phone. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Oh my god, it's, it's literally, right, so the cross is red, the left hand side, so the right hand side's red, the left hand side's green. Look on the back of here. So yeah, you can just see behind my head, uh, the red is dancing across the sky, which I've only seen happen once before in my lifetime. It's really strong and the green's really vibrant, so I might be out here all night. Unbelievable. Oh my god. It's just, it's just getting better and better. So I'm just going on this app, this is called Photo Pills, um, just to see where the Milky Way is. Um, I can't remember which one it is now, it's that one there. Night AR. You've actually got the Milky Way going through the middle of that. So Matey Boy on his motorbike just decides to park his motorbike right behind <laughs> the right behind the <laughs> thing here. It's like, if that, if that motorbike's just ruined my time out video, really, I think I'm going to cry. Well, seriously, I'm just going to cry on camera, I don't care. There he goes. Bye. It's gone to the left. So yeah, the uh, it's moving around in a minute. It's really dancing. So now it's literally gone to the. When you see it there, guys, it's just like wow. This footage is just like <laughs> unbelievable. I'm not going to bed tonight. Boy, I'm not going to bed tonight until this disappears. This is like once in a lifetime. At least I didn't have my jams on when you rang. <laughs> yeah, you had your bother already. Your slippers. <laughs> Was yeah. that halfway up the stairs to bed? We'll just pretend she's breaking into someone else's house. <laughs> this is cat burglar. <laughs> that's not your house. Who was that lady? Right, guys, that's it. Um, I'm absolutely blown away. Never thought I would see that. Certainly again in the UK. Uh, not like that with the reds dancing across the sky. Um, as we just mentioned there, I think when you're shooting the northern lights because it's bright, you want something in the foreground, something silhouetted, a building. In this event we had like a memorial cross, looked really cool. Uh, but the thing that amazed me the most was how it moved across the sky. Um, how it went, started off the right being really bold. At one stage, the right hand side it was red, and on the left hand side of the cross it was green and it literally just shifted right over. It was going from east to west, and then obviously it disappeared. So, yeah, it's right place, right time, but you need the right conditions. We had a clear sky pretty much, a couple of clouds, but lots of stars up there. They weren't saw, in our way. They weren't in our way. Um, and time. we saw a couple of shooting stars, and one, it actually, well, didn't light up the sky, but it was, it was low. Um, yeah, we, we all saw that, which was amazing too. So, a successful evening, so. We're all bouncing off the walls. You'll get this. If you get a bucket shot, a bucket this shot, the adrenaline's pumping. Oh man, you, you, you're just so, so excited. You know, you probably won't want to go to sleep tonight. Um, but yeah, we, we need to go to bed. We've got to be sensible. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you've got any questions regarding shooting the Northern Lights, uh, any more details regarding camera settings, etc., and what to look out for, drop a comment down below. But for now, see you soon. Chill a bit.